Hi, this is Vikas Singh from Origin and today's video I am going to show you how to add Hyper-V host in Virtual Machine Manager 2016. So if you need our help to set up a Virtual Machine Manager infrastructure for you or System Center infrastructure for you, you can contact us. Our contact details is given below description. And so let's move. So in previous video we have installed Microsoft Virtual Machine Manager which is known as SCVMM uh, 2016 on our uh, one of the our VMM servers. So in this video I am going to focus on adding Hyper-V host in VMM 2016. So let's move here is our infrastructure which we are going to use in, de in this demo environment. So we have four virtual machine total. So the first virtual machine is Active Directory Server. Uh, you can see the variant hostname is Win2K12 DC01 and this is running Windows Server 2012 R2 and my domain name is Horizon.co here if you go this machine is running Active Directory and DNS services if I go to local servers you can see the name of computer Win2K12 DC01 and the domain name is Horizon.co so this is my domain controller and the second server is a VMM server which is running Windows Server 2016 and the hostname is VMM 2016 so here is the VMM server uh, you can see this machine is name is VMM 2016 and I have installed the VMM virtual machine manager console and virtual machine manager server on this machine so I'm going to cl uh, click on connect to connect with a local host which is running a virtual machine manager server so if I go to fabric you can see the server is responding and a roles is library and VMM server so this is my VMM server and the last two we have a Hyper-V host which is Hyper-V host 1, Hyper-V 1 and Hyper-V 2 both are running a Windows Server 2016 operating system both machine have 32 gig of RAM and the machine is joined in my domain which is origin.co so here you can see this is the Hyper-V 1 and the machine is joined in um, domain which is origin.co and I have logged in with the domain account which is uh, VMM Hyper-V admin you can see here if I type who am I? You can see uh, this uh, both the server is logged in with the Hyper-V admin domain account. This is Hyper-V2. This is also joined in my domain and the logged in with the Hyper-V admin account. You can see here VM Hyper-V admin. So both the machine, I have not installed Hyper-V role yet on this machine. So while we are uh, going to add this machine in uh, VMM admin, VMM console, uh, it will going to add the Hyper-V role by default. So we just need to make sure that, that the machine is uh, like Intel VT technology is enabled from BIOS and the machine is joined in domain and we have uh, allowed the required firewall port which is uh, required to communicate with uh, Hyper-V host and VMM server so now I'm going to move next and I'm going to add the server in VMM console so in fabric I'm going to here we have all host I'm going to create one folder here create a host group I'm going to call it Hyper-V DC means data center and in this folder I'm going to right click here and we have a add Hyper-V host and a cluster so I'm going to add a, a Hyper-V host individual Hyper-V host so click on that. and we have a, a four options here the first option telling is Windows Server computer uh, in a trusted Active Directory domain so these Hyper-V host is uh, in my domain and these are trusted so I'm going with the first option so click next and we have to create uh, one run as account if you don't want to create you can manually enter the credential so I'm going to create one run as account so next time whenever we need we can use this account so I'm going to call it VMM Hyper-V admin and um, username I'm going to type origin 
slash Hyper-V admin and I'm going to put the password for Hyper-V admin account and click finish so now it will validate and we have a role user role administrator and the um, user account name is Hyper-V admin so good to go click next now we need to specify the name like IP address name or FQDN so I'm going to type here Hyper-V01 and enter Hyper-V02 and click next and you can see it's searching and both the Hyper-V host is identified here so now you can see Hyper-V1 and Hyper-V2 is here an operating system is 2016 hypervisor is not defined because hyper-v role is yet not installed so it will going to uninstall automatically so select the both the hyper-v host click next and it's telling if the hyper-v role is not enabled on the selected uh, server virtual machine manager will be enable the role hyper means virtual machine manager is going to enable the hyper-v role and it's going to re re restart the server so it's perfectly fine we can go with this click OK and where you want to put all host and Hyper-V DC so I'm going to put these two Hyper-V host in Hyper-V hyphen DC folder so good to go click next and click on finish now you can see it's launched the jobs page where we can see the job is running so you can see uh, what what is currently running its install virtual machine agent is running right now so it, it's going to install a virtual machine manager uh, client basically so if I go to add a remove programs you can see for now we don't have a virtual machine manager agent so it will install a virtual machine agent now you can see it's done so if I go here and refresh this you can see the Microsoft System Center Virtual Machine Manager agent is now installed and the both the server is now rebooting so if I go to here you can see so Virtual Machine Manager is uh, completed and it's enabling Hyper-V role that's why these machines are getting reboot because the Hyper-V role installation requires a reboot to uh, enable the Hyper-V role so both the machine will reboot and after rebooting it will proceed for further configurations so during the Hyper-V role enable, enabling uh, the server will reboot twice so working on feature again it's going to reboot stopping services is still on the enable Hyper-V role on a 66% both the servers now the server is rebooted hit control at dull to log into the Hyper-V server and I'm going to log in on Hyper-V 1 and same I'm going to log in on Hyper-V 2 as well as Now it will take some time to refresh the host to identify the Hyper-V role is enabled now so now you can see the Hyper-V role is enabled on both the servers and Hyper-V1 you can see and Hyper-V2 as well as we have a Hyper-V enabled so both the server is now enabled with the Hyper-V role so it will take some time here we have to wait so now you can see the enable Hyper-V role is completed and install SCVMM switch port setting is also completed now it's refreshing the host
so the version one you can see hyper v1 is almost completed that's on 99 percent So now you can see few other options has been added. Install virtual switch extension, deploy driver and install uh, switch extension and de deploy a file using LAN. So everything is completed. Now we have a, you can see the over overall status is completed. We have a, some warning related to multipathing is not enabled on the storage array on host 01. So because we have not added any storage which is coming from the storage box so that's why it's uh, giving the error message regarding the related with the storage array so this is all how to add a hyper v host in scvmm 2016 so thank you for watching and you can contact us if you need our help to set up a system center infrastructure for you thank you once again bye bye